Hello friends, my name is William from Data Psychoanalytics and in this video the focus will be to use Power BI to transform PDF data for further analysis. So let's dive in right now. So I have Power BI desktop open here and it comes with a lot of data connectors that you can work with. So from the home tab here you just click get data and you will click more down here so that you can see the full range of data sources that you cannot connect to. So here you will be presented with all the data sources that you can connect to. Our main focus here will be PDF. So I just select PDF and I click connect down here. Once you do that, you'll be presented with this dialog box so that you can navigate to where the PDF is stored. In our case, we are connecting to the Kenya Economic Survey 2021 PDF and I just click open. When you click open, you'll be presented with this uh, navigator here where you can select which tables or which pages you would want to connect to. So a PDF would usually be made of tables and other text within that uh, page. So you'll have the tables come first and then if you scroll down, uh, this one has many, many tables, but at the bottom you'll see now the pages that you'll be connecting to. So a given page will have a preview of the text that is within that uh, page, as well as the tables that could be there. So for this one, we are going to look uh, for page 123. There is a table that is there. So this is the table that we shall be targeting. It has the each of the counties within Kenya and then the revenue share or allocation across the different segments. So this is the one we are going to be connecting to. So I'll just tick this table in page 123, it's table 111. Then down here it will enable the transform data because I need to do some cleanup on that table once it loads for uh, transformation. So this opens the Power Query Editor in Power BI and here you can do some transformation. Let me start by renaming this table and call it uh, Revenue Allocation. With this table let's scan through the columns and see how the arrangement of the data is. So the first column is the county, then it is arranged in pairs. The first two, these are two years of data but for equitable share grant then the next two columns are for conditional grant. The third set is for annual allocation, like that. And then the last two set of data are the total revenue, these last two. What you realize, for us to clean up this data, we need to do a few things here. And one of the challenges I see here is the fact that when you look at after the conditional grant here, you'd expect that the next set of column will have the header annual local revenue should be in this column 6. That's where the header is for it to be consistent. The same case with this total revenue should be in this column 8 so that they are consistent with the first set of columns here. As you can see, you have the first column being the having the label, then the next one has a null. And therefore, because of that, what we shall do here is to trick uh, this one so that here we shall rename this equitable share. This one will be conditional. Then this one which has a mishap should be annual local collection. The last one uh, we don't need to because I can remove these ones. Those are just the totals which we can always get from the rest of the columns. Now for us to proceed, I need to demote this first uh, header to be the first row uh, and you'll see the reason why. But before I do that, let me clear the first row here. So I'll come to the menu, home tab, remove rows and I want to remove a set of top rows. So in this case, I just want to remove the first top row. So I just say one and say okay. I need to now demote the headers to become the row number one. So I'll go to the transform tab and where we would use use first row as headers, there's a drop down there which I can say use headers as first row. So when you do that, you'll see you have column one, equitable share, column three and so forth. So what we shall do is now to transpose this data. So I'll come to transform tab and say transpose here what I will do is to replace anything that contains a column in it so that it will be null. Column 3 I will replace this one, replace values. 
and I want to say replace with the word none, the same case with these others. So at this juncture, let's fill down this uh, text so that it fills the next row. So I'll come to transform menu, fill, and choose to fill down. So at this juncture, let's merge these two columns. I want to merge them so that ultimately I'll have a single column that will become the headers for our data. So I'll come to transform tab and merge columns. For the separator, let's choose uh, maybe something that is not going to be part of the data. So I'll choose semicolon in this case. I will retain the name of the column as merged. No problem. And I say OK. Then at this juncture, let's now transpose again so that we have the original data layout. So I'll come to transform tab, transpose. Now let's promote the first row to be header. So I'll click this uh, table here use first row as headers. The next thing we need to do is to have all these numbers to be in their own column because they all represent revenue. So I'll right click this column, the first one that is anchoring the data, the county and choose to unpivot other columns. So here you end up with the county, then the breakdown, uh, whether it's equitable share conditional or annual local collection. At this point, we can then split this column so that we have the uh, segmentation, whether it's equitable share, the conditional grant or annual local collection. So I'll come to transform tab and choose split column. I'll say split by delimiter. So as you can see here, it is smart enough to detect that the delimiter is semicolon, but you can choose any other depending on what you put there. So in this case, I want at the leftmost delimiter, you can choose rightmost. It doesn't matter for this scenario because it's just one semicolon in between. So either way, just say OK. Next, let's rename this column. I'll call this one county. I just remove uh, that semicolon. And this is the amount in millions. OK, then on this amount column, I will filter out anything that had this hyphen. It means it was zero. I just say OK. And at this point, I can press Control A, come to Transform tab and detect data type. So that way we end up with the right data types of these uh, different columns and we are ready to load this data. You can proceed and do further transformations here. But for now, this should be sufficient. I'll come to Home tab and I say Close and Apply. So that will load the data back to Power BI for further reporting. Now, if your goal was to have this data end up in Excel, you can go to this data view here on the left. You will see the data itself here. You can then right click any one of the columns that is available here. And you can choose the option to say copy table. Then you can move to Excel and paste your data. This is one of the ways that you can use to convert PDF data to Excel. As much as once you do it in Power BI, you're just copy pasting. There is no link to that particular file, but it serves the purpose. If you're working with Office 365, you have been taken care of. So the PDF connector is available from the data menu. You come to this get data from file and then choose from PDF. And I have this video here where I discuss the steps. Go check it out. Coming back to Power BI here, you have the data that you transformed on the right here and I can insert a matrix table here and then drag the fields that I'd want to summarize here. Maybe I want to pick for a given county. I tick that one. Then I can take the total amount here and as you can see, it gives me the total amount in millions and I can sort this column by clicking on the top there. So as you can see, there is a field that we didn't remove the total field there, which we needed to remove. But yes, that's the breakdown by each of the counties. I hope you found value from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when we release new videos in coming days.